Extraordinary reports coming out of the Soviet Union. Tales of a being, allegedly alien in origin, with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Our friends at Warner Brothers sent me a copy of Superman Red Sun on 4K Blu-ray to review, and boy, am I glad that they did. This movie is based on one of my favorite comic stories. Actually, it's written by Mark Miller, and Dave Johnson is one of the illustrators who's interviewed in the behind-the-scenes features on the disc. It came out around 2003, and I loved the comic back then. I loved it so much, I bought the action figure. And I've always thought this idea and this concept was just so cool. This footage really by the Russians appears to show the Soviet Superman in action. If true, this could be the beginning of a new kind of arms race. It's part of the Elseworlds kind of uh, philosophy at DC, where they let creators imagine a whole new reality for some of the uh, you know tried and true heroes that have existed through the ages. And Superman, as reimagined for Red Sun, doesn't crash land in Kansas, but instead crash lands in Russia. And he's a Russian farm boy who uh, gets um, taken in by the state and ends up working for the communist regime under Stalin. You know, which is my bending, right? It's really kind of taking a look at Superman through the lens of the Cold War and what would be different with the storytelling if Superman was kind of a Russian asset. Still a protector for, um, you know, the innocent and still a do-gooder, but doing things with a little bit of guidance and control from the Soviet regime. <laughs> This is undoubtedly mere propaganda, tailored to send ripples of fear into the West. And in these treacherous times, Fear is something we must never surrender to. And the movie does a great job at, you know, distilling all of the work that's in the book, which is obviously a much bigger story, but they've distilled all of the core essentials in there. And it's such a fantastic film. It's definitely one, particularly because Russia is in the news every day these days, and there's a lot of uh, animosity between uh, most of the United States government and the Russian government, and we're seeing it perpetuated on a daily basis. It's almost like we're in this new core. Cold War right now. America first! And it's very interesting to kind of see how these two juggernauts, these two sides of the story go back and forth and how they use the concept of a Superman, you know, either to create fear or to be a fearful agent. Many of our citizens have lived in fear of the Soviet Superman, but no longer. As of today, the United States has its own living weapon. Not everybody is in line with this Superman from Russia, including Lex Luthor, who is a different kind of figure. He's actually married to Lois Lane in the film. And I'm trying to dance around spoiler bits here, but I will say that much. But he becomes a very instrumental figure in the story of this movie, and it's wonderfully told. The Luthor Company has this under control. We'll find out soon enough if he's real. Love the performances as well. Jason Isaacs is a terrific Superman, especially when he nails that Russian accent, at least to my ears. I'm not Russian. Maybe Russian folks won't dig the, the accent quite so much. What? After all I've achieved? You're also going to see other DC superheroes reimagined from this kind of viewpoint. So a new Batman, a new Wonder Woman. Call me Diana, please. And it's such a clever conceit, and it's so well done. Where did he go? He's on you, Petrovich. <laughs> There's special features on here that take you in behind the scenes a little bit on the creation of the film. And one of the things that stood out for me is that Sam Liu, the uh, director of the movie, who's a Warner Brothers st staple, he's done a bunch of these and he's a great guy. I've met him and uh, interviewed him many times over the years. His father was an engineer who was basically employed because of the Cold War. And he talks about the Cold War being good for industry because of this self-perpetuating fear that was crafted through the Cold War. Conventional weapons aren't enough when one man one alien has the power to bring entire nations to their knees. And there are also a bunch of Russian and American history experts that are interviewed in the behind the scenes on the disc, which is great stuff as well. It gives you a real sense of the palpable fear that people felt during the 80s, that there was gonna actually be a nuclear confrontation between Russia and America. And there was content and certainly lots of news media being crafted out of that era, but it also obviously influenced Mark Miller's idea for this fantastic story. I believe that the only chance for peace in this world is reaching out, forging alliances, finding common ground. 
So you get behind the scenes interviews and you also get a couple of episodes of uh, the old Justice League TV series, the animated show. There's uh, some teasers for some other DC animated properties, as well as like a mini episode based around Phantom Stranger. Uh, and Michael Rosenbaum is one of the voices in there, which was really cool. The 4K transfer is beautiful. There's also a Blu-ray copy of the film on the disc here, and I took a look at the variations between the two, and it's there's no comparison. It's not like the Blu-ray version looks crappy, it's just grainier, and it's just not as clean looking. The 4K is just crystal clear and beautiful. You can see all the details. The visuals are just incredible, especially if you're as big a fan as I am of, you know, Cold War era Russian iconography. I don't know, there's just a different sort of utilitarian slant to the way that they design buildings and rocket ships and installations and office rooms and it's just so artfully crafted for this film. Also, the sound seems to be beefed up quite a bit on the 4K transfer as well. Just my speakers were booming, and you can see my, my viewing space behind me isn't enormous, but I was fully encapsulated by the beautiful art of this movie, both visually and sonically. <laughs> Gorgeous DC animated feature. They are pretty dependable, you know? There's, there have been a lot of really great DC animated features, but I think this is near the top. I think I might even like this movie more than the Dark Knight Returns animated flick that I loved. I don't know. I think I may do kind of my pecking order on some of these DC animated flicks, but I love them, and I love them when they're this good. <laughs> Red Sun is definitely a must-buy. I don't know if you need to purchase a 4K Blu-ray to get the most out of this film. I'm just really grateful that I have this in my collection. The 4K Blu-ray obviously comes with a Blu-ray, a regular Blu-ray, but it also has a, a digital download code that you can activate through the uh, Google Play Store. Read the comic for sure. That's step one. And after you read the comic, maybe you'll want to get the action figure like the one that I have, but you're definitely going to want to watch this movie. Whether you download it you know, from a digital service or you pick up one of the discs, this this thing is amazing. I'm gonna give Superman Red Sun a 9.5 out of 10, and please keep these coming, DC. Fantastic work.